Hey guys and welcome back to another video. I am the Twisted Jedi and in today's video we are going to be discussing all of the Clone Wars skins from heroes to clones that have been confirmed so far by DICE and EA and when they're going to be released into Battlefront 2. Now I know this video will be stating things that most people already know from the roadmap but I also wanted to talk about my hopes and expectations for what I want them to look like and what I think the future hero skins could be. If you aren't familiar with the clone skins that I mentioned I'll also briefly touch on where they appear in Star Wars canon and if they are led by a particular Jedi general. So there are five clone skins confirmed and a couple of hero skins as well, which is what I will be going through in just a minute. Before I start though, I am going to be placing one random Star Wars question at the end of most of my videos from now on, if I remember them while I'm recording. So once you get through to the end of the video, be sure to place your answer in the comment section below and let's test your Star Wars knowledge. I will be picking one lucky viewer who answers today's question correctly to win a Star Wars sticker prize pack with over 35 different Star Wars characters inside. This giveaway will only be happening every now and then, so make sure you answer the question each time you see one pop up in a video. Anyways, getting to the main point of the video, the first skin that has been confirmed is the 91st Mobile Reconnaissance Corps. Now, the 91st has been confirmed by the latest version of the roadmap, obviously, and it's going to be releasing in the September update, which, if you didn't know, is releasing in a couple of days on the 25th. So these clones have served under multiple Jedi Generals during the Clone Wars, the most easily recognizable being Mace Windu. These guys appeared in roughly 9 episodes episodes or 10 in the Clone Wars and a brief snippet in Revenge of the Sith. Honestly, I hope these look really good in Battlefront 2. This particular group of clones can look pretty plain, mostly white with a little bit of red. At times they look a little bit boring, so I hope each of the classes has a different amount of diversity and looks different in their own way. The next clone skins that are confirmed are the 104th Wolfpack Battalion, which we all know is led by Commander Wolf. The Wolfpack's Jedi General was none other than Plo Koon, which coined their squad nickname Plo bros. These skins are white with grey markings and could look really really good on Battlefront 2. Now I'm not sure whether or not they're going to base this on Commander Wolf's look or if it's going to be more like the standard troopers. We know from the last community transmission that both the 91st and 104th will be releasing changes down the line to their appearance so I'm assuming that's what they're going to be doing. Maybe they changed their mind after the community feedback on the 327th. The Wolfpack did appear in multiple episodes of the Clone Wars fighting alongside Plo Koon as well as in Star Wars Rebel Commander Wolf does make a return as well. So those two skins are confirmed for a couple of days from now on the 25th. Following that, in the month of October, we are finally getting the release of General Grievous. Grievous will be getting one skin as well, which when he does drop, I'm assuming we will get a caped and non-caped version for him, as there is a distinct lack of appearances for General Grievous throughout Star Wars canon. Personally, I would prefer the non-caped version, as I would probably prefer to not have all of his awesome appearance covered up. Moving on is Obi-Wan Kenobi, and he will be getting two appearances on top of his base appearance, which is really, really awesome and something I'm super excited about. I know a lot of people weren't expecting any skins when the heroes dropped, so it's a surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. I hope his base appearance is Revenge of the Sith, with the two appearances possibly being Episode 2 Obi-Wan and maybe Old Ben, but I would absolutely love to see an armored appearance from the Clone Wars series. That would be my top skin for Obi-Wan and I would have that equipped right away. Coming alongside General Kenobi is the 212th Attack Battalion, which you probably would have seen a bunch of times from the Clone Wars and also in the prequels. Commander Cody led the 212th under Obi-Wan Kenobi and is possibly one of my favourite clones of all time. I love his design and I hope we get a similar looking skin to his, at least for one of the classes in Battlefront 2. There have been some really cool mods going around, especially one in particular of Commander Cody that looks absolutely amazing, so if we can get a clone skin similar to that, I will be happy. Second last on our list is the Coruscant Guard Clone Troopers. The Coruscant Guard was a division of elite clone shock troopers of the Grand Army of the Republic. They were organized to serve as peacekeepers and protect the Galactic Republic capital on Coruscant. The Coruscant Guard was initially placed under the command of CC-1010, also known as Commander Fox. They didn't really have a Jedi General as they remained on Coruscant for the most part and patrolled the streets, however they did serve as personal bodyguards for Chancellor Palpatine. The Coruscant Guard hosts white and red armor, and although we are getting something similar to that with the 91st, the Coruscant Guard will definitely look better in my opinion because they get a lot more red on their armor. If you go and have a look at pictures of both of them, I think you'll agree with me that the Coruscant Guard looks much better. So finally, we have made it to the last skin that has been confirmed for Battlefront 2, and this one will definitely have a lot of people happy. The 501st Legion will be coming alongside Anakin Skywalker in winter. The 501st is one of the highest requested clone skins out of any of them, and the white 
white and blue armor is going to look amazing in Battlefront 2. Once these and the Coruscant Guards get added, they will be my go-to clone skins, and I can't wait to see the different colored armors running around the battlefield. Anyways, before I finish this video and wrap it up, I want to mention the fact that we are getting Geonosis as a playable map later this year. Something I would love to see is this clone from Season 2 of the Clone Wars series on Geonosis. When the Jedi return to Geonosis to wipe out the droid factory, these skins look absolutely amazing in multiple episodes, and I feel like if you edit the colors of the current 41st skin to brown and add some other color tweaks like yellow, then this wouldn't be far off at all. If anyone from DICE catches this video, please consider adding this to the game because I think it would be a really nice surprise for the fan base. Anyways guys, that's going to do it for this video. Let me know which skin you are most excited for down in the comment section below. And while you are down there, test your Star Wars knowledge by answering this question. When on Geonosis in Season 2, which Padawan learner accompanied Ahsoka to plant the bombs in the factory? If you know the answer to it, drop it down in the comments for your chance to win an awesome Star Wars sticker prize with 35 different sticker designs to decorate whatever you want. Other than that, this video is all done for today. Make sure to subscribe if you are new and turn on post notifications if you haven't already. I will see you guys in the next video. I am the Twisted Jedi and may the Force be with you always. The Sith are all powerful. You are no match for me.